Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. Today we're taking a look at the Ufi X10 Pro Omni. Now, this is by far the best vacuum cleaner that I've seen. And this one is under $1,000. Now this has a ton of features. This is the world's first mop master with 8,000 Pascal suction power. And it does have a lot of key features built in, including the mop master, AIC, Omni suction, Pro Detangle Comb, and a lot more features that we're gonna cover. So big shout out to you for sponsoring this video. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. So first in the box, we are going to have the safety manual that's going to be in different languages. We're also going to have the base station and we'll go over this here in a little bit. In the separate box, we have the vacuum as well as some accessories. So first we're going to have the power cord. We also have the ramp. This is where the vacuum is going to essentially dock into the base station. And of course we have the main vacuum cleaner. We have the AIC area. Now this is where you're gonna have a lot of sensors. We're also gonna have the camera as well as the light. We do have a tray as well. This is of course washable, so you can always take this out. As far as the actual bins, we do have one, two, three. Uh, first one is gonna be for your clean water. So this is gonna be your clean water tank. Um, Pretty much, you can fill it up like there. This one is gonna be your dirty water tank and same basic concept, guys. This pop, pops out. And the last part is gonna be the actual vacuum in area. So look on the inside, there is a hole for this. Um, this filter essentially slides down. You do have a tab right here or you can block it or you can um, open it or close it. And uh, essentially this is just gonna slide down like this. All right, so now it's in the closed position. However, when I push this down, it's in the open position and it's ready to go. So you do have the Hufi logo up top with a sensor. Uh, we do have a lock button right here. We have a power button and we have the home button. Um, pretty self-explanatory, those three. Uh, this does have a bumper, so essentially, uh, if it bumps into a wall, if it bumps into something, it will know where it is and kind of back its way out. On top also, we do have this. <laughs> um, remember that this is a vacuum cleaner at heart. It does the mopping as well, but it's also a vacuum cleaner. So this is the actual dustbin. So um, to open the bin and empty it just on the side right here, pops right off, empty it in the trash, whatever else you need to do. If you wanted to just clean the filter, you do have a tab right here as well. Pop this part off, filter comes out. You can replace it or spray it, whatever you need to do. When you're done, you can always just slip it back in, pop it on, and you're all set. Now on the front, you're gonna have quite a few sensors. So sensor here, sensor here, obstacle avoidance. We do have the AI sensor right here in the front. So what this does is essentially um, identify objects and avoid them as well. So pretty cool, you can see a camera there, you can see a sensor in the front, so um, pretty awesome. So over to the back, first thing you're gonna see is it does have two contact points for charging, so it does dot backwards. You also have some sensors up top. You have the ports in the middle where the water is filled, and on the sides you have the ports where you actually your mop pads are dried. All right, so first thing we're gonna notice is that we do have the two um, mop pads right here. These are Velcro, so these pull off. Also easy to take out the entire roll. When it's time to mop, it will come outward. So right now they seem below the surface, but it does pop out when it's time to actually mop. Nice rugged wheels, guys. If you take a look at these, these look like they're off-road ready. So quite a few sensors. Sensor here, sensor here. We also have sensors here, 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 here and it does have a carpet detection sensor right here. So let's start out by talking about the 8,000 Pascal suction power. Now this is one of the strongest suction ever in a vacuum cleaner. Now this uh, does have a container 
in the unit. It also has the container at the base station, which we'll get into here in a little bit. Now this can collect 20 grams mixed garbage from your floor and it has a one-time cleaning rate off over 98% as calculated by UFIT's lab. Now it can also filter air particles up to 0.3 Newton meters and above including pollen, dust, bacteria, and more. So overall, this is gonna maintain the air quality in your house. Now the dust collection box is equipped with a high efficiency air filter with filtration more than 95% particles as small as 0.3 Newton meters as we discussed. And so this was designed to not only clean your floor, this was designed for uh, homes with pets, clean carpet and floors. And one of the coolest thing about this is when it's done cleaning your floor, it goes to the station and empties the dust into the larger container, thus giving it more flexibility to clean the rest of your house. So let's talk about Mop Master 2.0, which is a combination of the dual rotating mops and the edge hugging cleaning that gives you deep cleaning on multiple surfaces. Now the mop can apply a downward force of up to 10 Newtons at 180 RPM. Now this is approximately the equivalent to the force of a one kilogram object. So after the motor moves the mop to apply downward pressure, the machine has sufficient weight to exert pressure on the mop. So lifting the mop is achieved by the lifting thread uh, for carpet users. The X10 Pro is designed with a thread length of 12 millimeters. So that's the difference between raising and lowering the mop heads. Mops are shaped in a pentagon with the vertices of the pentagon not centered on the side. The larger cleaning area is located at the central point so in contrast a circular mop has a central axis with two circles resulting in only a single point contact and a less effective cleaning center so within mop master 2.0 it features an 80 milliliter water tank now this allows the mop to remain moist during the floor cleaning now with this tank it will continuously clean while keeping the surfaces moist for up to 12 minutes once that's done it will go back to the base station it will refill and then it will continue cleaning the surface let's talk a little bit about the wall cleaning so this is the edge cleaning the robot detects the wall and travels alongside it making periodic outward rotations to ensure the mop cleans along the wall and you can see it does a good job just riding that wall line until it completes the job now with mop master 2.0 it helps get rid of stubborn stain with the downward pressure cleans the edges of the room. Also, your carpet stays dry because it does have a carpet detection sensor that raises the mop heads. And the most important thing is just overall, it does a good job covering the entire surface that you want to be cleaned. So let's talk a little bit about AIC or Hufi's obstacle avoidance system. AIC recognizes objects in the room to avoid common obstacles such as your shoes, power cables, garbage cans, whatever. This has been updated to recognize over a hundred different obstacles. And this also works at night because it does have a built-in LED. Now, before moving to AIC, just know that Eufy is committed to protecting users' privacy. The RGB camera will not upload or share your information. And this technology has a certification from TUV and Rainland in Germany. Now AIC is similar to what we see in some of those automated vehicle driving systems where it, it can avoid objects or other vehicles. This is the exact or similar technology that's built into this vacuum. So the color RGB camera, now this captures images, recognizes what image it is by AI algorithm and identify and categorizes the object, then mark them and enable object avoidance. So as you can see there on the camera, it was able to see that, hey, this is a shoe or hey, this is a power cable or this is a cup. And what it does, it maps it. If you turn on the setting in your application, you can see an image of whatever is on the floor and the vacuum will work its way around the object. This is probably one of the best implementations that I've seen of this ever, guys. This works really well. Now, I did mention at night that this is also equipped with an LED light, it illuminates the scene in low light environments just to provide optimal conditions for the camera to operate properly. Now, the device does not automatically upload the information, as I mentioned. You have to go into the application. There's a setting, as you can see there, that you have to turn on, and that will allow the images to show. So again, that makes me feel better just knowing that I have control of whether it actually uploads or shows the images or not. 
that. Now the UFI Extend Pro Opni also comes with a built-in detangler. Now how this works is the brush roll comes with a small built-in comb that smoothly detangles hair and remove it every time it wraps around the roller brush. Now this is a specially designed roller brush and hair detangler mechanism that ensures that wrapped hair will be detangled easily and collected efficiently to have the robot work as efficient as new. So I don't know if you guys ever owned a vacuum cleaner, robotic vacuum cleaner, if you ever take a look at that thing with brush, hairs, sometimes cordage, it's just nonstop where you have to get in there every clean and you have to take all that stuff out. This mechanism will make your light a lot easier. So what can it do? So the Omni Pro Roller Brush has a pro detangler comb that flips down at the end of the clean and then automatically remove the hair that's caught on the brush. And of course that's beneficial that you don't need to do this manually. And before we jump into the application, let's talk about the Omni Station, which is the brain of the operation. So a lot of features built into this. Uh, this is gonna do self-emptying both the water and the garbage collection. Uh, it is gonna be self-drying, self-refilling. So let's jump into the features. So it does have a three liter water tank that can mop the floor two to three times per week for a home that's roughly 1500 to 2000 square feet. It does also have self drying within the Omni Station that dries the mop pads at 113 degrees. Now, with the heated dryer, this is going to prevent unpleasant smell, it's going to prevent mold from building up over time. Just imagine having your, your dryer and washer built in that actually washes it. That way you don't need to take it off separately and go wash it and put it back on. It does have self emptying. So as I showed earlier in the video, it does have a, a container on the vacuum itself. When it docks into the station, it then empties that garbage into the bag. Uh, that bag that is filtered, as we mentioned, 2.5 liter bags. It only needs to be replaced every 60 days for your convenience. This is gonna give you a peace of mind and it is gonna be one less thing that you have to worry about. So here's a quick look at the application. So home screen, you're gonna see your robot, you can enter it, but you also have some scenarios. You can do a full home daily clean, full home deep clean, or you can do post mill clean. You do have the option to select more scenarios. So click on full home daily clean, for instance, it's gonna give you what option you want. But if you click on mop and customize different rooms, uh, different zones, so really intuitive. And we'll get into more of the actual map here in a little bit. So, so this is the home area. Below that, you have your profile button. Click on that, you're gonna have your warranty card, your device sharing information, your device sharing, so you can't share this with other people, smart integration, so you can't connect this to your Google or Amazon Alexa devices. That way you can use voice commands to tell it what to do. Pretty awesome. You have a dark mode, language, time zone, referral, and you can also visit the Eufy website. So enter the robot. This is where you're gonna have all the options. So when I first started out the robot, it did do an initial mapping of my downstairs area. This was really accurate. And the cool thing about this is once it maps, you can also go in and you can edit different areas, combine rooms, make rooms bigger. You can customize it just to make it perfect so a quick look at mine you can see i have the bathroom living room i have the dining room area kitchen mapped out the island in the kitchen you do have the butler's pantry formal dining as well as the foyer or the main entrance so these black areas in the dining room that's where a table is next to the butler pantry that's where the stairway is going upstairs you have a couch right here in the dining room and you do have an island in the kitchen so this did a really good job mapping so if you click on the icon to the right, you can edit your room. Click on the icon below the map. You can empty the dust, you can wash the mop, or you can dry it as well. Do have some base station settings, so you can auto mop washing, gives you the timer, auto drying as well, as well as the auto empty. You can start cleaning from here. You can just hit start and you can customize the mode as well. So you can see you have a cleaning intensity. You do have the vacuum mop. You can do vacuum only or you can do mop only. You do have suction options as well as water level and edge hug and mop so a lot of options built into this area you do have your rooms i said you can see i went in and i kind of edited all my rooms and again this is accurate guys it really mapped it to a t you do have your zones as well so you can set certain zones that you want to clean maybe you just want to clean right here for me i do have a table right here i can't set that zone then i can set it to clean do have your settings up top you can manage your map so gives you map one. So maybe you have this on two floors. Uh, you can multi map save and you can turn that on and you can add map as well. You do have your schedules, all right? So if that's something you wanted to set up, you can do automatic cleaning. You do have cleaning history as well. So 
There's that carpet cleaning settings. All right, so for now, carpet cleaning settings, you can see it's um, vacuum only, which makes sense. So what will happen is when it detects that it's over carpet, it will pick up the mop um, pads and it will just switch to vacuum only. Pretty awesome. Got manual controls where you can go in and control the robot as well. AIC settings, firmware updates, sexery services. So kind of give you how long uh, before you have to replace certain things. So your dust bag, your filter bag, your rolling brush. Uh, does a really good job at this as well. And you do also have a Find My Robot setting. So a lot built in here. This is probably one of the best integration that I've seen as far as a application with a smart cleaning device and this works really well so with all that said the ufi x10 pro omni is my opinion the best robotic cleaner so far in 2024 just the fact that it not only cleans the debris dust garbage from your floor but it also mops and it designed in a way that it cleans first then mops that way you're just not mopping dirt into the floor. So many features built in, some of the self uh, care systems as far as the self cleaning, self drying, self emptying. And the fact that the mop pads are actually adjustable where they're not always scrubbing the surface. It detects carpet and raises the mop. That way you carpet won't be stained or wet if you don't want them to. The Omni Station is also a critical part of making this device what it is. Not only the self-cleaning process, the fact that it holds the water, give you up to 60 days where you don't have to really check on the device is an awesome addition. Can't say enough about the application. This application has so many features built in, guys. It's gonna give you so many details of your device, the state of the cleaning, where it is, the mapping on this is truly spectacular. It did a great job just mapping the inside of my house. And once that's set, I was able to set up the rooms. Now I have complete control of when and where this device cleans. So for those reasons, I do think that the Eufy X10 Pro is the best cleaner for 2024 and it's under $1,000. So if you guys are interested in this, I'll leave a link in the description. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.